Hey guys, Fishbait here, and today I'm bringing you guys another Call of Duty Ghost gameplay. And the gameplay you guys are watching in the background is nothing important, it's just a chem strike with the AK 12. But today, you guys are not here for the gameplay, and you're probably here for the title of the video. And um, it's quite a serious topic I've got to talk about today. And um, I, first and foremost, want to say that I don't know everything about this topic. I've just heard recently, and I've only heard a few like details about it. And if any of you guys are from Russia or, or Ukraine watching this video, don't judge me for what I say. I'm just saying what I know and if you guys have already like figured out today's commentary is about Russia declaring war on Ukraine and um, this is the main thing this concerns me about is because um, Russia is like was well, between them North Korea and America about like developing nuclear weapons and um, you might be thinking well why would they need a nuclear weapon to take out Ukraine when um England or the UK and the US have signed a treaty saying if um, Russia ever attacked Ukrainians' borders that we have to intervene and um, I think personally it's a way of Russia getting back at America because they've never had a strong relationship especially after the Cold War and I think this could really turn into a second Cold War and um, this is like really serious for me to talk about so I don't want to get any of the details wrong but you know, 10 Russian helicopters were seen to um, breach the borders of Crimea which is um, a Russian city or town and um, they were seen off videos on YouTube they've gone flying across and um, the president has I think he's den he's denied something along the lines of um, Russia like starting a war but they have breached the borders and um, the Ukrainians are currently in a civil war as well the sort of thing because the food is just the inflation is so high over there at the moment and prices for food and that is just ridiculous and a lot of the people it's probably the best time to attack a country when they're fighting with each other because then they they have to go through the strength to reunite and then they have to fight off Russia but um, the only annoying thing is if America and the UK get involved and then that's that's puts our countries into the mix and we just want to stay out of things I mean it's like it's so much more serious if this does go ahead and it's a bloody brutal war because all the wars at the moment they've been the other side of the world from where I live I mean Afghanistan Iran Syria Iraq they're like well I live in like near London I live in Essex in the UK and that's just nowhere near um, what I'd be used to I mean it'd just be a, a few thousand miles away and with risks of that like England being attacked and Europe being attacked again because um, I really really do think though in the next 30 to 50 years that there's going to be a serious war possibly a third world war and it's not going to be good because America are still um, developing technology to take out um, nukes and that like just from like a sensor or something along the lines of that and until that is developed uh, while well, there's Russia making these threats and the UK and America have to step in to help out Ukraine I personally I don't I feel 100% safe. Obviously, I'm not going to let it bother me. I'm just going to live my life normally. But um, what did you guys think on this? If you've heard much about it, um, I was telling the Tumner about it yesterday, and um, the Finnish president was saying that they're not getting involved, and a few of other countries saying no, they're staying neutral. But the UK, they have signed a treaty saying that they um, and America, they've signed a treaty saying that they will intervene if America, if um, Russia breached the um. Oh, I forgot the um the borders. That's the one. If they breach the borders, and then yeah. So leave your comment regarding this. What do you guys think about it? And also leave a like rating if you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, I've been Fishbait or John, and I'd like to see you in the next video. And bye.